The human being has the potential for being a lot of things. And among these things, he has a potential for becoming corrupt if he is just left alone with too much power for in a too long time. We're in a period where society is going a major step from something that it was to something very new, which is a globalized society. And this globalized society has very different requirements from more regionalized or nationalized societies that we had before. And that change also brings a lot of uncertainty. And that uncertainty, I, I think, is what creates maybe some reluctance or some, even some fear, because you do not really know where it's headed. This is why politicians tell us all these stories about the dangers on the internet and why we need filtering systems in order to be able to censor the internet and all of that. OpenLeaks is, um, is aiming at just to be a technology provider um, that is covering part of this whole transparency process. So in order for whistleblowers to safely communicate to the media or to NGOs, they need to be able to submit information, submit documents anonymously to a recipient. So you as a, as a local, as someone working in a local town hall and you know about corruption in your local town, um, ideally you could just go to your local newspaper and submit this information to you. And that's what, um, and that's what OpenLeaks um, is focusing at, just providing a neutral means of technology that will enable a lot of other organizations to address that exact issue and there is not much more to it. We just enable society in the same way that you as a whistleblower, you can just print out a document and send it via snail mail in a brown envelope and you do not write your sender's address. In that same respect, you should be able to upload it to your newspaper because we're living in a digital world and that is what we are trying to provide and where we're trying to get at. It is very important that we all have a slight fear, if you want to call it fear, but that we all have the understanding that if something really goes wrong or if we do something that is really immoral, that it might come to the light and that other people will take us accountable for it. It's always good if you fear that someone else might control you independently, um, because that is how you prevent c corruption within a system is that there always is a factor of someone from the outside controlling you, uh, creating transparency and everyone understanding what is happening. If you look at all the crises the world had in the last years or decades, um, they all boil down to things happening in, in back rooms, in the secret, and getting out of control because there is no one independently controlling it. And no one had to fear that it would get to the light, that people would start talking about it that someone on the street might approach you and tell you that whatever you did was not right. And so that's what's slightly corrupting you, you know, and this is why it's very important that we have these mechanisms today.